Did you happen to see Celine Dion's performance at the Olympics? Yep. What'd you think? It's fine. <clears throat> she should work on her pitchiness. <laughs> wow. Uh, Heartless beast. I know. She's an asshole, though. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rexel Corbin. I'm Celine Dion. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. They get every sports on Patreon. Follow us to the account. Like button. The thing I've never liked about Celine Dion, not her voice, obviously. You she be is, careful. She has an absolutely incredible voice. She's an asshole, and she's extremely full of herself. You met her? I've talked to people who have, and I've heard a lot of stories. Like J-Lo? Just like I have of Tom Cruise. Uh, like, the, like the J-Lo stories? I don't know the J-Lo stories. Oh, it's sa same that. thing. Just like everybody comes out to say, I mean, people doing TikTok saying, I usually don't do this, but a lot of people have nothing but nothing but negative things to say no, about yeah. you. I, I don't know the woman, so I yeah. I don't know. I, and I've never seen her be mean to anybody, but um, there's a lot of news out J -Lo, there. J-Lo, I've seen her be mean to Ben Affleck. But I, I'm <laughs> Celine. Poor man. <laughs> Celine, I, I've, I've never, I've honestly never heard negative stories about Celine per personally. So anyways, regardless, I uh, hope she's doing well uh, because that's an awful thing. Yeah, and it was I we got I got emotional watching her sing. Today we got an Indian uh, village cooking channel. It is village cooking channel. It is. Oh, I was thinking about them the past couple of days. We were watching another cooking channel, and it made me think of them. And I thought it's been a while. Good. Um, but this is Indian burger. Ooh, uh, and This, this one is going to be interesting. Two months ago, um, I love this channel. Are, so, is the Vatapav referred to as the Indian quote unquote burger? Yeah, essentially. Is it? Yeah, I've heard it. I've heard okay. it called that before. Uh, here we go. So it'll be their Vatapav. Making pancakes. Oh, my God. Aw, that's cute. That's a great ad for their channel. A little cooking thing for kids. Potatoes. <laughs> Scream at me. Hoses welcomes you. Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. Guys, we're in a drought. <laughs> oh, wait, you're probably not. <laughs> we're Has not India, anymore, technically. Has India ever <laughs> been in a drought? <laughs> At least the southern part of India. Uh, yeah, the southern part, I don't know. I feel like they have the opposite problem. They have too much rain. If you don't like potatoes, there's something wrong with your heart. I love potatoes. Potatoes and onions are like... Glory. <laughs> Do we have to take the skins off, I guess? The skins almost always make potato things better. I don't know the almost always. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to them. Mm, mashed potatoes. I wanna roll around in that naked. Cilantro. That's one way to wash your hair. Mm. I can smell it. <laughs> I'm rolling ginger in the rain. Well, guys, we still need to film. What, what were we just wow, talking about? It's a, it's a freaking downpour. Are you just talking about how much rain they have? Yeah. Speaking of which. I don't think we've mentioned it before, but man, our hearts go out to the folks in Kerala dealing with the landslide. <laughs> awful. <laughs> awful, awful, awful. I love rain. So does my wife, man. I wish we had more of it I, here. I'm, I have slowly become a big fan of the fall in ways I never was before. I'm so looking forward to us getting out of summer. I've always looked. I, I know you have. Ooh. Come and see it. What? 
What kind of powder? I don't know. I think they got that powder from Karn and Johar. Oh, mother. Put those on your nipples. <laughs> mm. Oh. You had me at mashed potatoes. Roll that into a ball. Oh, oh yeah, roll my balls. <laughs> Steph and I made a. I'm pretty sure we made. Speaking of rolling balls, we made vada pop on yeah, the channel many yeah, years ago. A while back. How did it turn out? Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had vada pop when we went to India, right? We did. Yeah. Oh, right when we landed in Mumbai. That's what they had for us, waiting for us when we got to the car. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yes. And then they smash it on a on a bun, just like I do with your mom. Spicy. <laughs> Other American oh cheeses God. almost craft singles. Yeah, we don't care about American cheeseburgers really? right now. You go friends. from this to craft Seriously. singles. Do they split it open so all the juices get out? Yeah, and I think so. You have access to the seeds inside of them because that adds, that's the heat in there. Oh yeah, I would love that. <laughs> mm, did you see Lupita Nyong'o on Hot Wings? No, it's spectacular. The end. The very last one she gets on is great. She's so expressive. My mouth's watering. Smash it! Put it in, close it up, and press it down. Oh, mommy. Just a full chili right on the side. Yeah, 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 go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah, baby. Mm. You might need some water. Oh. Okay, yeah, I don't need that. Oh, yeah. Panna tea and energy sapta and the panna of Buddha super arca, and then make a masala ponda, pandala vache, carat the carapudi vache, manat the mali puna satin sete, and the pachamana lace side never put a purchase put the editor which cut it is opera the gay, Unmele, bear a level tini, either another vade in the other, the Virimbi saprangola, other than the mala nerthla sign there as opera the gay, Aramayana tini. I love the guys nodding behind him. Ooh, what a spread. Ah, oh, glory. What a spread. Mm. 
Always love their videos. Always. That looked delicious. Yeah. And we've had it. Yeah. But man, did that look good. Man, I would love to be part of their videos one day. I know. Just to sit there and watch them. Just to just sit and watch live. I, watch them make it. I don't need to mess it up. No, and taste it. Um, and then help serve those people. Yeah. What do you if, if you've never done anything like that before, where you've been at a place where you can do something to help very old people, many of whom have disabilities of some kind or whatever, and they can't take care of themselves, do it. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. It, it has a... There's no way... To describe how good you feel when you do that about well, not uh, about making their lives a little better, it's awesome. I love that they conclude every video with that. What was the thing? Um, I remember back in youth group days, they talked about were, were the it was kind of like it's not love language, it was like spiritual gifts. Yeah. What were they? Um. Well, there's different spiritual gifts. There's, if you want to get technical, there's the gifts of the Father, there's the gifts of the Son, and no, there's the gifts no, of the Spirit. No, 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 like one is servant. Right, one is servant, one is pastor, one is prophet. Those are them? Well, yeah, there's, and there, again, there's different kinds. There's like gifts that are given to the church, oh. and then there's gifts that are given to believers personally. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you're thinking about the gifts that are given to people as extensions of God's love to people. Mm. And yes, one of them is giving. Um, oh, this is it. Uh, Quick Love Biz is a administration, being an apostle, discernment, mm -hmm. evangelicalism, ex extortion? No, what it can't be. <laughs> Exhortation. That's an encourager. That's my, that's my gift. Exhortation ex is an encourager. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. And those are the ones that are uh, a mix of the particular gifts that can be given to people at any given time that are supposed to help other people. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So healing, like, giving faith, yeah, 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 encouragement. Yeah. The only reason I'm bringing that up is because uh, giving and the like the um, servant. Yeah. Or never mind, ever. But it is also, that's part and parcel to why he came up with the five love languages because they do incorporate that in some way, shape, or form. Like words of encouragement comes out of exhortation. Mm -hmm. Acts of service comes out of giving. Yeah. Yeah. Um, funny enough. Physical touch is part of healing. Serving would be one of my love languages, though. Serving others or th yeah. that, that you express it or receive Serving it? Serving others. That's the one you express. Well, to people that I like. Right. My wife. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, but, like, I actually don't like to receive that. What's your, re what's your receiving love language? Do you know? What are they again? So there's uh, quality time. I like being quality with her, yeah. Acts of service. No. Words of encouragement. No. Physical touch. Yeah, I like being touched. And, <laughs> and <laughs> gifts, giving. No, absolutely Like not. receiving gifts. Absolutely not. Yeah. I do like to give people... Uh, gifts right, because those are different. Those, randomly, though. Your, your, your love language of what you like to receive is not the same always of what you like to express. Like, um, I don't... Um, I don't like giving gifts on birthdays and anniversaries. I like giving random gifts. Mm -hmm. I don't like when it's expected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> random, I know. Sorry, because we used to go on, like, mission trips, and even though I enjoyed it, it was not fully my thing of... Um, like when we went to um, nursing homes or um, stuff like that, other I, I could always see people that were really, really like into it, and I'm not one of those people. Mm. It's mostly because people gross me out. Yeah, I, <laughs> I my favorite trip was when we went to Papua New Guinea. We got to serve the the homeless kids in the street there, and we got to the big one was being able to go to the Hula and Kalo tribes and. Just be with them. What was weird about that trip was 
the way we were treated because white people don't mingle and associate with the native people of Papua New Guinea. Why? So, because they only go there to be luxurious and go scuba diving and ah, go to the resorts. They gotcha. don't mingle with the commoners because that's beneath them. So we rode around in an open truck and got out and walked. True, when we walked around in the markets, we were followed and everyone was watching us because it's so rare to see a white person condescend to be among them, let alone serve them. And that, that's heartbreaking to me that it's that rare for them to see white people treat them like they're equals and they're normals. That uh, it, that was one of my favorite things about it is that we could break that stereotype for them. Regardless. We actually had, we had a, when we left, the lady in the house that we were in in Hula, she started to cry at explaining what it meant to us that you would, the two things she said was that you would sleep in our homes and eat our food. Because white people don't do that for we, them. You're one of the good white people. Right <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Let's get shirts that say that. I'm one of the good white guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I love the video as always. <laughs> one of the best channels on YouTube. They're, Ever. Uh, they're, they're absolutely Ever. fantastic. I love watching them just cook food. Yep. Um, so if we're ever down at Tamil Nadu, oh. we'd love to just wave in the background of your videos and watch it. We don't even need to be on camera, yo. No. We just we'd love to just watch you guys do yeah. your thing and uh, taste the food and serve the people. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know one of the videos of uh, Village Cooking Channel or the food videos we can react to down below. Josh!